everyone, and welcome to Metal Nights with the Metal Coach. We're talking about all things rock, hard rock, and heavy metal. It is reaction time, and I have the Finnish metal legends, Nightwish, with the song Story Time, live from Vakken 2013. But before I check out Nightwish for the first time, please like, subscribe, and leave some comments so we can continue to build the channel. All that and more when the Metal Coach returns, coming up next. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Stephen, the Metal Coach Holly. Tonight, I have Finnish Metal Legends Nightwish with the song Storytime Live from Vakken 2013. Some time ago, a subscriber reached out to me and asked me to check out this song and this band, and I cannot find the message that you sent me. I'm very sorry. I apologize. We were at the end of the school year. I had surgery on my knee, and things have just been kind of a mess. I apologize to you. I hope you enjoy this. Please um, reach out to me and, and let me know if this was you that actually um, wanted me to do this video. I would appreciate that if you could. Um, so something that I found out doing some research on Finland and doing some research on the band Nightwish. I am a world geography teacher because this stuff kind of fascinates me. Um, I did come to find out that in Finland, metal bands per capita are more than anybody in the world which I thought was freaking cool. Also, metal is the number one style of music in Finland, which I thought was really cool. Um, and also, one of the most important things that I found, um, because it kind of ties back to what I teach, is that metal is an important part of the culture of Finland. I thought that was freaking cool. Man, that's my kind of country. I wish America would figure it out and let's get metal back into America. Let's make metal great again and make America great again. That's my opinion, guys. So, guys, Nightwish, of course, is a Finnish symphonic metal band with a killer stage presence with a lot of orchestral pieces mixed in to their live performance, really making it something special. Uh, the band at the time of the recording of the live version of Storytime 2013 Vakken, um, you have Floor Jansen on lead vocals. You have Tuo, Tuo Moose. Halupainun on the keyboards. I hope I said that right. I'm having some difficulty with some of the pronunciations. Um, Impa Vorinian on guitars. You have Marco um, Hitula on bass. And you have Yuka uh, Nevalanian on the drums. Guys, I apologize if I butchered those bad. I apologize. I'm really struggling with the Finnish language a little bit. So let's get into Nightwish with the song Storytime live from Vakken 23. Let's crank it up. Let's go right now. I think it's time for a little story. It's definitely story time. liking this so far it's pretty rocking i'm totally blown away by the band um they know how to rock and they have created to me in just a short little clip that i've seen so far 
an absolute symphonic metal theatrical rock masterpiece. I'm absolutely loving it, and I think it is brilliant. Um, the live version of the song really, to me, is showing off the band's overall musical prowess and, and the talent that they have. They are pretty talented. I really like these guys. Um, really, I, like I said, this is the first time I've ever heard Nightwish, so I'm kind of, this is my kind of like my opening version to them. Um, you can really feel the energy from that opening keyboard piece, and then you got that thick and beefy bass line, and then that first guitar lick kicks you in the face. And I knew from that point on I was in for a symph symphonic metal ride, and I'm loving it. I absolutely love what I'm hearing. So far, the song is a masterpiece of storytelling and metal. Vakken Open Air Arena, in my opinion, is the perfect venue for a performance of this type of band and for this type of song. Um, and that is why Vakken has always been a very, very popular place for the big um, um, festivals. Like, we, I know Whitesnake's been there. I know Metallica's been there. I know all these bands that have gone. And, and it's just a great venue for um, this type of music. And, man, I would love to one day go to one of these festivals at Vakken. So far, guys, brilliant. Let's continue to keep it rolling. Um, let's also talk a little bit first as we get into this first part. Um, let's talk about how good of a vocalist Floor Jansen is. Wow, what a vocal range and what energy she has. Her vocals are near operatic. Um, her range is on full display. And on this track, I think she is just a brilliant lead vocalist. Like I said, I've never heard of her before. Um, like I said, this is my first time hearing the band, and then I know she's not the original lead singer, but man, brilliant. I really love her emotionative delivery of the lyrics, which I feel really helps to build on the already energetic and intense um, intensity of the song. I think that is, um, she's a great front woman, um, because I think she she's showing how much fun she's having. She's having a blast doing that intense headbanging getting the crowd involved from the get-go. And I think that is one of the things that makes anybody a, a true great front man or front woman. They have that energy to get people from the crowd involved into the actual performance. Um, and I think that's exactly what she's done. She's keeping them engaged and they're having a blast and she's having a blast. Um, another reason I think she's brilliant is the way she navigates the song's dynamics in just a short little part. I've seen dynamic shifts in tempo, and she's really nailing it. Um, she's going from those slower, more melodic burp pieces, and then she's riding to that over-the-top intense chorus um, with no effort at all. I think she's brilliant. She seems very versatile, and I think she's a brilliant performer, brilliant lead vocalist. And man, I am, I'm blown away. I think she's freaking brilliant. So guys, let's get into this a little bit more. Let's watch the performance and I'll break down some more of the things and what I'm seeing. Let's get into it right now. up to this point what I'm hearing. I think it's a fantastic song, um, brilliantly done. And I want to kind of talk about how it was crafted and created a little bit and why that is so important to the overall performance and the um, intensity of the song. I, and I, you know, and it really helps with the energy. 
Um, it has that traditional setup of verse bridge and then that operatic and melodic chorus just ramps up that intensity to another level. Absolutely love the way the track builds on each element and the way, and when they do that, that intensity just gradually explodes into that passion and that fire and you can feel it watching this song, watching the video. I love the dynamics of the song and how it shifts seamless, seamlessly between that softer and more introspective passages and then it just it blows up into that bombastic and anthemic chorus. I think that doing it this way has helped create a musical experience that the fans are going to remember and that it's going to, and the performance that they are doing keeps them engaged. And I'm telling you, the fans are having a blast. And I think the band is too, but I think they just play off each other and I think it's just freaking brilliant. Wonderful song so far. Let's keep going. So just a few minutes ago, I left off talking about that engagement piece, that fun and the energy that is part of the way this song was built. Um, you've got to talk about the energy, passion, and the stage presence of Nightwish as a whole and how what they do to, for the performance and how they help build on those elements of fun, energy, and um, engagement. Um, to me, that's where it all starts, and I absolutely love the way the band performs on stage and how they interact with the fans during this performance. You can tell that the band feeds off the crowd's energy, and, it, and I think you can also see how the energy of the fans actually make Nightwish even better. I re and, and I really think um, that cr the crowd's enthusiastic response underscores the song impact and reinforces Nightwish's status as a powerhouse in the metal genre. I mean, I think they're freaking brilliant. The band's charisma and stage presence creates a communal experience uniting the fans in a shared musical experience and appreciation for metal. When you mix that with the dramatic lighting and the visual effects that are going on during the live performance, you get a killer theatrical metal experience in my opinion. Just freaking brilliant elements to an intense and fun performance. I'm really, really enjoying this. A lot of fun, great song, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's talk about the lyrics a little bit. Um, which I feel really add a cool um, intensity and cool vibe to it. And it really helps energize this performance. Um, like I said, I've never heard this before. Um, and, I, and I had to go do some research about what the story was saying. So I went back and I looked at the lyrics and I, I looked at some interviews. And this is kind of what I came, what came up with. Um, and yes, I am reading this off of something if anybody's asking because I cannot remember all this. I'm 53 years old. I can't remember everything. The lyrics talk about the power of storytelling and the boundless realms of imagination. The song explores themes of imagination, escapism, and the power of storytelling. They invite the listener to embark on a journey with the band into a realm of fantasy and self-discovery. I think that's brilliant. I love how the lyrics create a picture of a world where the stories we are told and we pass down throughout time are the essence of our existence. And the act of this creation is magical and a transformative experience. The song begins with a scene of quiet anticipation. The world is silent before the birth of the story. It then transitions into a celebration of the creative process as seen through the eyes of the writer and the painter. Both create an entire universe from it. Guys, I mean, what what else? I mean, I love storytelling and this is what a, is a, just a cool element to the song. I love looking at the lyrics and trying to figure out what thing, what it's talking about. And I think it's just an absolutely brilliant element of this song and I absolutely freaking love it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the song and then we'll continue to break it down and finish this video up. Here we go. Let's go right now.
where do I start? Um, I, I, right now, my impressions of this band is mind blowing. I think they're great. Um, I wish I would have heard about them sooner. Um, and I probably would have listened to them already before, and this would be easy. Um, but I think with this band, you've got to talk about the instrumentation a little bit. I mean, I think that if you don't, it'd be doing them a disservice. Um, and I feel that their instrumentation is very intricate, very well balanced, and I feel that the way they play together drives up that energy and that and it brings a symphonic atmosphere to the song. Um, um, Halupanian's keyboard playing throughout the song creates a lush symphonic texture that complements what the other band members are playing along with during the song. The guitar work by Veronian um, are really intense and melodic. I think his guitar work adds that heavy metallic edge to the orchestral foundation of the song. Um, and then you have um, Hitala's bass playing, to me, thick, beefy, just energetic, powerful, and just booms in your speakers throughout the song. And then you bring that drumming by uh, Nevalanian is heavy and it's bombastic and I think drives the song along. You put it all together and guys, you got a symphonic metal masterpiece and I think it is just brilliant. They are great as a band. And a man, I'm gonna have to check out more of these guys because I'm really digging this band a lot and I love it. Um, one of the parts of the song that to me really that stands out is that breakdown piece that starts around the 257 three minute mark. You just get that some killer elements. Um, you, the crowd is singing while the band is playing that you get that little entry piano piece. It's kind of haunting and eerie. And then you get that heavy thundering drumming. Um, you get that thick bass playing that comes in. Then you get that symphony orchestra that's hitting. Um, and then at that 325 mark, you get that, um, that next level when Floor comes in with her powerful operatic vocals that just gets the crowd going crazy um, and takes that intensity up another notch. It's already intense already, but just takes it up another level. Crowd loves it. And I do as well. I think it is freaking brilliant. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the song so far. Um, another thing that I have to talk about with any type of live performance um, is the production quality of the song. I feel that the production here on this live recording is just perfect. I love how they have captured the energy of a live performance. And they've taken that energy and quality of that live performance of the band and put it together. I think you really get a full view and feel full aspect of what the band is really like in a live setting. Um, I love how they have mixed the song. It is very balanced. It's crisp. It's clean. It's clear. Um, and it's balanced in all areas. You can you can hear all the orchestral elements. You can hear all the guitars, all the vocals, and the drums, and then you get that clarity and precision of the live performance. I love it. I feel it really adds to the energy and intensity of the performance, and I think it is just freaking brilliant. I love this song. Guys, my opinion of Storytime Live Vakken 2013 is just a masterpiece of symphonic metal. This song has shown me the musical prowess of the band, and I love the stunning vocal performance by Jansen. Intricate instrumentation by the rest of the band, that theatrical stage presence by the band, and I believe that, to me, it embodies the band's overall ability to create an immersive symphonic metal experience that creates a deep connection with the fans of the metal genre and the fans of the band. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. Nightwish with the song Storytime Live at Vakken 2013. So what do you think of Nightwish? What do you think of this song? Leave some comments in the comment section and let's talk about this exciting band from Finland. Just a reminder, guys, please, before you leave, like, subscribe, share the video, hit the bell to be notified when their new shows are released. And don't forget to leave some comments and continue to build the channel. And guys, for more Metal Coach, check out TikTok and Twitter and sign up for my Patreon to get exclusive content. Guys, I want to thank you for personally joining me tonight. And remember to, as always, guys, keep it fun, keep it metal, crank up something loud today, keep that metal flame burning, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care, guys. Keep it metal.